Hello everyone, Lee Martinuzzi here from MPG with your weekly property market update. Hope you're having a great week. Today I want to share some key insights from the property market report and the financial year 2023-2024 and perhaps what we can expect looking forward into this new financial year as well. So make sure you follow us here on YouTube. If you haven't yet checked us out at martinuzzi.com.au, please do head over there as well and subscribe to my newsletter to stay up to date with all the happenings on the property market front. So this year, we've seen national house prices increase by 8%. That's the national house price, which equates to an increase of $59,000, bringing the new median house price to $794,000. Sydney's median house prices now sit at $1.17 million. For the June quarter, property prices grew by 1.8%, which is pretty consistent with the previous quarters, March and December, rising by about the same amounts. The top performers remain Perth, Brisbane, Adelaide, and their regional areas are certainly performing very, very well. The RBA kept the cash rate on hold in the last meeting at 4.35%, and although inflation is slowing, it's still not yet within the RBA's target range of 2 to 3%. So another rate rise isn't yet off the table. The key driver of rising prices continues to remain, and that is the housing shortage that we're facing. So despite an increasing amount of new listings coming to the market in the recent couple of months, we are still seeing overall stock levels 18% below the five-year average. And the markets with the severe shortages are seeing the biggest gains, which makes sense, right? Here on the Sunshine Coast, we're seeing similar trends as we're seeing in other markets across Australia. Strong demand and property shortages are pushing those prices up. We've seen annual growth in the areas that I operate at least, anywhere between four and 10%. And we will expect to see house prices continue to slow, I believe, over the next year, with a realistic estimate of price growth between four and 6% over the next 12 months. So that is your quick update for this week. For more detailed insights, please do head over to my blog post at martinutzi.com.au. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates next week. Have a great week ahead. Talk soon.